Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me, uh, VegFest and um, Plant Bales Health Professionals, and uh, thank you, Leila, for inviting me along. Um, just in the interest of transparency, uh, this is my first presentation, uh, so if you see me reading my notes or looking like I am, I am. Okay, so um, I'm here to give some tips to manage stress. So um, I am a newly accredited uh, natural mindfulness guide and nature connection guide. Um, so if we just go straight into um, the stress itself, oops, beg your pardon, there you go. So let me begin by just saying that stress is coming to everyone um, and the stress response is a normal part of life. Um, um, and it's the body's way of preparing us all to be able to uh, meet tough situations for flight, fight or flight, um, for you know, from danger or perceived danger. And it can also uh, be beneficial, to be fair, to actually motivate us and to help us meet um, deadlines and get jobs done. So it's not easy to pin down exactly what stress um, means, though. So we find ourselves saying, Ooh, uh, this is stressful or I'm, or I'm feeling stressful. Um, but we might be talking about situations um, or events that put pressure on us. For example, times where we have lots to do and think about or when we don't have much control over what's happening. It could be our reaction to uh, being placed under pressure or the feeling we get when we have demands placed on us that we find difficult to cope with or that we feel that we've got tasks that we feel that we're not unable to uh, you know complete them on time so stress can be felt in many different ways both physically and emotionally and some people may not even notice that they are stressed until symptoms start to occur um, and prolonged and unchecked stress uh, can lead us feeling overwhelmed and unable to cope. And this can cause mental health problems further down the line. So there's no medical definition of stress itself, but whatever your personal definition of stress is, it will be beneficial for, for you to learn to manage your stress. Okay, so I just want to go through the uh, six pillars of lifestyle medicine for you before I go any further. Now, the six pillars are advocated by the British Society of uh, Lifestyle Medicine, with whom Plant-Based Health Professionals UK are affiliated. Um, and the pillars are mental well-being, uh, which we'll focus on uh, in a little bit, but uh, healthy relationships, and that's about um, the connections that we have with people, work-related, friends, family, and trying to keep those healthy. Um, physical activity, increasing physical activity, whatever that means for you, taking a nice walk, going to the gym, doing yoga, etc. Um, minimizing harmful behaviors, and that's behaviors like uh, one class of smoking, drinking, uh, substances, even things like gambling. Sleep is one of the uh, pillars, and that's about good sleep hygiene um, and getting enough sleep, and then healthy eating. And that's where lifestyle medicine advocates for a whole full plant-based uh, plant diet, um, um, trying to low, lower us eating processed foods, uh, salts, sugars and fats. Um, so these pillars themselves are actually uh, standalone tips to help manage stress in their own right. But going back to mental well-being and specifically tips to manage stress, which is our focus today, um, Lifestyle medicine um, actually teaches us techniques to manage stress and helps people to, uh, to relax. Lifestyle medicine can also help people to find purpose in their lives and to improve their health through nature connection. So you know, mentioning nature connection, this brings me nicely to mindfulness and natural mindfulness. So let's start with mindfulness. Mindfulness is a way of paying attention to the present moment uh, being aware of what you're sensing and feeling uh, without interpretation or judgment. And practicing mindfulness can involve um, breathing method, guided imagery, other practices to relax the body uh, and mind and help reduce stress. One of the other practices is natural mindfulness. So natural mindfulness, like mindfulness itself, uses our five senses to help us pay full attention to something in a relaxed and easy way. So with natural mindfulness, uh, we use our five senses, which is touch, 
sight, taste, smell, hearing, um, to connect directly with nature. But just being in nature without actually doing anything like mindfulness or any other intervention um, not only makes you feel better emotionally, but it also contributes to your physical well-being. It reduces blood pressure. It reduces your heart rate. It reduces muscle, muscle tension. And it also reduces uh, the production of stress hormones, which can lead to inflammation in the body and then to illness. So just let me to, uh, mention uh, nature deficit disorder to you. Um, I don't know if anybody's heard of that, but um, this was introduced in 2005 with the publication of a book called um, Last Child in the Woods, Save Our Children from Nature Deficit Disorder. Um, and the author was Richard Louvre and he coined the phrase. So nature deficit disorder is not a mental, um, sorry, is not a medical term, but a description of the human cost of alienation from nature and the disconnect from it. So um, scientific um, evidence suggests uh, that nature deficit disorder contributes to a diminished use of our of senses, to attention difficulties, conditions of obesity, and higher rates of emotional and physical illness. Um, also, nature deficit disorder, you know, it is a thing, and and it's becoming more of a thing as we are drawn further and further away from nature and into our homes and places of work on digital applications and platforms. So I'm just going to bring to you uh, my top tips for managing stress and reconnecting to um, our senses to uh, direct you away from the digital world and back to nature. So firstly, let's look at the breath. Try and start to breathe with an intention, a conscious intention to slow yourself down, uh, to calm yourself and to ground yourself. Use your breath as a focal point and as an anchor. So learn to follow your breath and stay with it. When you feel your mind wandering, bring your focus back to your breath. Breathe through your nose if you can, as this is actually a natural way of breathing and it automatically calms the mind. And um, so it automatically slows the breath and it automatically calms the mind. And it also is, um, it naturally engages the diaphragm and diaphragmatic, diaphragmatical breathing. So just do this for five minutes a day and you'll notice a difference in stress reduction and stress management. Um, and if you do this outside in nature and connect with nature, like in a garden or a green space, uh, that would be even better. So secondly, take regular breaks um, from whatever it, whatever it is that you're doing. And if you're sitting a lot during the day, get up and walk around. Research, research shows that sitting for long periods of time is akin to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. Again, um, I'd advise that you get up and step outside for some fresh air, natural light and uh, some nature connection. Even if all you can see is the sky, it might be that you're at work and you work in a city, so there's not a lot of nature about, but you know, just looking at the sky, you are actually connecting to nature. So while you're doing that, you could actually go back to what I've just spoke about the breath and do five minutes breath work while you're out there. So thirdly, bring nature indoors. Um, so that be that by opening a window um, or going to a room with a window that's got a nice view um, or actually bring in plants in, whether that's in your home or in your workplace. Because the restorative uh, powers of nature you know, can be found in all nature uh, and should not be underestimated. You can even use indoor diffusers, essential oils, as well as plants to help bring in natural sights and smells. Now, many species of um, trees emit biochemicals called phytoncides. And phytoncides interact with our nervous system um, and have calming properties. Um, they actually also increase NK cells, which is natural killer cells in our body, in our bodies that um, increase the our natural immune system. So beneficial fragrances to use in the home are pine, cedar, spruce and conifer. So really try to engage your senses. Um, sight, touch, smell, taste and hearing with nature. Connect with, uh, connect in the moment 
uh, with awareness and curiosity and wherever you are because that will be you know if you do that and do it as much as you can it'd be absolutely brilliant so that would just leaves me uh, with this short little excerpt from a poem from NQ, um, from a poem called uh, Superpowers. It's take a breath, look around, see the sights, hear the sounds, feel the ground. So that is the end of my talk. Um, thank you for having me. Um, my name's Deb Williams, but before you go, don't forget, number one, take a breath. Number two, take a break. And number three, connect. Connect with nature and connect with your true nature. Okay, thank you very much.